Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Minecraft Unified Launcher that just came out a few days ago and I did do a video on how to upgrade from your old Minecraft Launcher into the new Minecraft Launcher and I did notice that some of you have actually posted some comments with issues that you are having either getting the launcher to install or getting the game to load up properly and I also did notice that some of you have been having blue screen issues as well where you try to launch the game but you get Get a BSOD, the blue screen of death, when it launches the game. So I'm going to try and hopefully show you guys a few tips and tricks and some steps that you can take to avoid those issues. And hopefully the steps shown in this video would try and resolve some of the issues that you guys would be having with the new Minecraft launcher. Okay, so the very first thing that I would recommend is to actually go and have a look at your Windows updates. So if you are on Windows 10 or Windows 11, click on the start bar, click on settings, and then there should be a section that says Windows updates, like so. And if you go into the Windows update section and just click on check for updates and do make sure that everything is up to date. I did do this earlier and I did have two pending updates which I did not actually install and I have now updated my Windows files and I've updated to the latest version of the Windows based software so do make sure that it does say over here that you are up to date and your Windows updates are all installed and fully up to date. I would also recommend that you guys install and update your audio based drivers. For example, if some of you are on the Realtek audio drivers, then go to the Realtek website and update your audio drivers. If some of you are using AMD graphics cards or Nvidia graphics cards, then go to the relevant website and download the latest version for the drivers for those graphic cards. So do make sure that your audio drivers are all up to date and your graphics card drivers are all up to date as well. And obviously the Windows updates are all done as well. If you guys are using an antivirus then do make sure that your firewall is not actually blocking any incoming downloads when we try to download using the launcher. For example I am using the McAfee antivirus suite and I can also go and have a look at my firewall settings and I can actually make sure that it's not actually blocking anything that the new Minecraft launcher is trying to download and install because I did notice that some of you were having errors that were based off the firewall blocking something with the Minecraft launcher. So do make sure that your firewall is not actually blocking anything that is linked to Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher. The next thing you need to make sure is that you are logged into the Microsoft Store and the Xbox app as well. So again, click on the start button and just search for Microsoft Store and then go to the Microsoft Store and on the top right, it should show an icon with your name or logo and just make sure that you are logged into the Microsoft Store with the same account that you used to purchase Minecraft with. And if you guys have migrated from the Mojang account into the Microsoft account, do make sure that you are using the correct email address to log into the Microsoft Store with. Do the same for the Xbox app as well. So click on your start bar and then in your search bar just type in Xbox and you should have an Xbox app like it is showing for me over here. If you haven't got this go to the Microsoft Store and install this and make sure that you have got the Xbox app installed as well. Click on that and do make sure that you are logged into the Xbox app using the same login that you use to purchase your Minecraft game with. So as you guys can see on the top here it does have an icon and this is the same username that I use to play Minecraft with and basically I purchased Minecraft using a Microsoft account and I'm using the same login for the Xbox app as well. If you click on the Minecraft logo over here in the Xbox app you will see that it says play and it says you own this. So do make sure that you are logging into the Xbox app with your Microsoft or your migrated account if that's what you did earlier. For those of you where it says play demo or it's not actually showing any play button on the main Minecraft launcher after you have updated it, click on the settings button on the bottom left here and then click on accounts and do make sure that it does have your account over here or below the Mojang Studios section here depending on whichever account you use to log in with and make sure it does say active so in the account section it should have the correct login details as well. 
another thing you can try is to actually disable hardware acceleration so as you guys can see i've ticked this box where it says disable hardware acceleration requires restarting the launcher so i'm going to actually tick this and then close down the launcher and then reopen the launcher and that should also try and help you guys if you guys are having the launcher freeze up on you But those of you where you're not actually able to download the game files or you have upgraded from an older version of the launcher into the new one and you are having error messages or it's not actually downloading the game files for whatever reason, first thing I would recommend is to go to the installation section over here, hover over where it says latest release, click on this folder icon like so. That should open up your default Minecraft directory. I would actually just highlight everything and delete it. If you guys have been playing on this, basically using the old launcher for a while, then do make sure that you back up your saves folder and your screenshots folder as well, because those are gonna get deleted. So do make sure that your saves folder and your screenshots folder are backed up and put them in a different place and then highlight everything and then just press delete on your keyboard. Once you have deleted all the files in the Minecraft directory, and don't worry, the Minecraft launcher is actually installed in a different location. So this is basically just gonna clean out your Minecraft directory and then it's gonna re-download all the necessary files so you don't have anything that's not in there and it's not required anymore so let's close this down next thing you're going to want to do is click on the start button and go to settings and then click on apps and basically in the apps click on apps and features and look for Minecraft. So in the search bar, just type in Minecraft like this and it should load up the information. And this is what we installed earlier. This is the Minecraft launcher. You can then click on these three dots, click on advanced options, scroll down. You can click on terminate just to make sure it's not running in the background and then click on repair and also click on reset. And this is basically gonna repair and reset everything to do with the Minecraft launcher. We can then close this down and we can reopen the Minecraft launcher. And as you guys can see, it says updating Minecraft launcher and it's downloading some update files for this as well. So that should basically update and clean up anything to do with the Minecraft launcher. So if you guys are having problems with the new Minecraft launcher, that is another thing you can do. So let's wait for that to now load into the Minecraft launcher. Okay, so as you guys can see, because we deleted all the files and we reset everything, it's now saying and asking us to log in with our Microsoft account or our Mojang account. So I'm going to use the Microsoft login option here because that is how I log into Minecraft with. I do have a Microsoft account, so you guys can choose whichever is relevant to you. So let me click on that. And because I actually logged into the Xbox app earlier, it's remembered my details and it says welcome back. So I can just click on let's play and it's basically going to log me in into the Minecraft new launcher. We can then obviously go back into settings and disable hardware acceleration if that's what you want to do and just check in the account section that it is showing active against your name over here and then if you click on Minecraft Java Edition it should have the play button like so and then we can go into installations and we need to actually launch the game for the very first time because we have deleted all of the game files and we need to re-download them again so it is a big file it is 400 megabytes so you can just start this and leave it to download so let's go ahead and do that do make sure that you click on installations over here and then click on the play button from this section you can do it from here but I do recommend and actually launching it from within this menu because it doesn't have the animated play button here so click on play and just wait for that to actually download the 400 megabytes of game data so as you guys can see it's now saying downloading and it's 401.4 megabytes for me so i'm going to leave that to complete and i'll be right back all right so once it's finished downloading all of the required game files it should say finalizing and then hopefully it should launch the game as you guys can see it's now loaded the game and you should see the mojang studios loading screen there and we can go in and play the game for any of you that do see an error message load up uh, when you do try to load the game just close it down and then relaunch it and it should actually work for you i did actually see some error messages previously when I tried to launch the game and this is without any mods so obviously there are a few bugs that are there with the Minecraft game and I think the creators of Minecraft do know this and that they probably are working on it so just bear with that for the time being and let's relaunch the game and try to open it up again if you do see any error messages so we can now close this down 
for any of you who are having the blue screen issues or getting the BSOD blue screen of death issues then I would recommend that you guys try something out and hopefully this should solve your problems with any blue screen errors that you might be seeing so close down the launcher and then go into your internet browser and then just type in Java JDK 17 and look for the oracle.com website so on my one it says oracle.com and I can see that this is the downloads section here for the Java downloads. I'm going to go into that screen and I'm actually going to search for the Windows based installer. So I'm going to look for the x64 installer and this is the Java JDK file which I'm going to install. I'm going to click on this link over here and I'm going to click on save as. I'm going to save it to my desktop and then now I'm going to wait for that to finish and I'll be right back. Alright, so once your Java JDK 17 installer file has finished downloading, you should have an icon that looks something like this. And as you can see, I've placed my file on the desktop and it says Java JDK Windows X64. And this is the EXE installer. I'm now going to double click on this file. It's then going to allow you to actually install and set up the Java JDK 17.0.1 file. If you are doing this in the future, you might have future versions as well of this file. So it might not be 17, it might be a future version so just click on next and then keep on clicking on next to do the default installation so as you guys can see it now says java has been successfully installed i can click on close and now we can get rid of this file we can then open up our minecraft launcher again and now what we need to do is actually go into the installation section so let's wait for this to quickly load up there and now i can go to installations like so and hover over where it says latest release and you need to do this for any other installation that you guys do so if you guys are installing forge or optifine or anything else here that is a installation and it's in this list you need to click on the three dots like so click on edit and then you need to click on more options and if you guys scroll down and have a look where it says java over here and it says use bundled java runtime we now need to click on browse and then we need to go into our c drive and we need to actually go into where it says program files and then look for the java folder and as you guys can see i've got a java jdk version 17.0.1 folder here i'm now going to double click on this and click on the bin folder and now in this folder we need to look for a file which is called java W. So as you guys can see, I've got a file here that says Java W.exe. Then click on that file and click on open the version of Java. Now it should show up in here. So as you guys can see, it's showing the directory of the version of Java that the game wants to use. Now you can also change your Java allocation here. So as you guys can see, it says it's using two gigs of RAM. So I'm actually going to change that to four gigs of RAM. And that is optional. You guys don't have to do that, but I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click on save. And now I can actually click on play. We're just going to launch the game and it's going to use the new version of java that just came out and hopefully that should fix your blue screen issues so those of you that were getting the bs blue screen of death issues hopefully that should also try and fix it if it doesn't then definitely do let me know in the comment section below and i can look into that more in more detail as well why that is happening let's go into a game now and let's create a survival world just to make sure that it is actually using the correct version of java that we just told the launcher to do so let's wait for that to now load us into the game all right, so as you guys can see, it's now loaded us into the game and I'm going to press F3 on my keyboard. And as you guys can see on the top right there, it does say Java 17.0.164 bit. And we can see in the mem section there, the memory allocation, it is showing 4096 megabytes. So that is actually using four gigs of RAM allocation. So this hopefully should solve your issues that you guys were getting with the blue screen where it was trying to use the internal game Java files but because we are using a Windows based installer and we are using a Windows based application, it's not able to access those files properly. So we're now forcing it to use an external Java file and make sure that you guys do do this for all of your installations that you run in your Minecraft launcher. So if you guys are installing Iris shaders, Fabric, Optifine or Forge or anything else in there, then do make sure that you click on those three dots and you are setting the game to use the external Java file that we just downloaded. One final thing I would recommend is that you guys do install your Minecraft 
game into your C drive. So if you guys have actually installed your game into a D drive or any other sort of drive that is not your default C drive, then do make sure that you are installing your game to your C drive because it does actually work quite well when it is installed on the C drive and it won't give you any errors, hopefully, if you are installing on the C drive. So hopefully this should solve and fix any of the issues that you guys were having with the launcher. If you guys obviously are still having issues, do leave them in the comment section below and also do leave them in the comments of the other video which I made about how to upgrade your Minecraft launcher. I will leave the link to all of the videos that I have made in the description below. I have also made a video on how to fix the issues with Forge where the Forge installer does not work properly. So do check that one out as well. If you guys do have any problems or queries, do leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, do give it a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.